Okay, so here's the prototype. Uh, you've got a light here indicating your different speeds of either your fan or your heating. So you should see the fans going at the moment. Probably cut out in a second or speed up. Um, you got a uh, potentiometer here for adjusting your set point. And um, just running power from there at the moment, but I'll need to just route that to the front because, oh, there you go, fan stopped. It just has about a one, one degree idle range, so if it's one, one degree within the set point, it won't heat or cool. So eventually now it will start to heat, this light will start to flash, and that means the heat has come on. The faster the light flashes, the more it heats or more the fan runs so it's just variable speed you got three three different fan speeds and three different three different um heating i've noticed that um once it gets to temperature um pretty much the fan just comes on because the temperature is being provided by the chip on the board so as you can see um, all the numbers are up on display and uh, that's it just mounted it off some of the HDMI screws off the back there and just some Vero board drill some holes to clear the capacitors um, two transistors there at the back one controls the fan one controls the Heating, and the base resistors here, just here. Each of these base resistors is controlled by the analog output over here, so it can provide a different amount of base current to the transistors to basically create higher fan speed or more more heat in the um, resistors. That's your microcontroller in the center here. Uh, this is your crystal oscillator, two 22 pico um, farad capacitors. Uh, this little capacitor here is just used um, with your programming. This is the programming part of the board. You plug in a um, plug in my programmer into there. I can just program it, upload some more code. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the code. Seems to be doing what it needs to do. Monitors the temperature, takes some average, takes 10 average, uh, takes temperatures every quarter of a second for 10 seconds, I mean for 10 readings, and then um, creates an average from there and then just works on it from there. So, probably can't see it, but the temperature sensor is nested down underneath there uh, with a bit of heatsink paste onto the, onto the um, top of the chip. And... Yeah, that's about it. Job done.